morning. It is Wednesday, April 29th, and we're ready to begin our Pilates Yoga Combo class. So all we need today is a mat and our bodies and some water handy by if you feel like you need a little bit of a water break. When we leave today, we're going to feel renewed and refreshed and strong from the inside out. We're going to go ahead and start down on our backs, so let's be nice and comfortable. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms open to the sky. Close your eyes and just start to breathe deeply in through your nose, expanding your belly back and lift cage as you inhale. And exhale out through your mouth. While we're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, I want you to push your lips or clench your teeth a little bit. So then as you're exhaling the air out, you're forcing it out through a smaller space, which in turn gets the abdominals working. Next, we're gonna bring some awareness to our arms, and I want you to stretch your arms from shoulders to fingertips. So just tense the muscles in your arms. And then I want you to relax your arms. Let's do the same with our legs, stretching our legs from our hips to our heels. Really work at just tensing the legs. Now let the legs go soft. And bring awareness now into the belly. We're going to tighten the belly. Pull down on the back side of your belly button. Hold it down as tight as you can without holding your breath, without tensing the rest of our body. Let's try again. Release. And then tighten the belly, drawing down, holding it like that. We're not holding our breath. We're just holding the belly firm. And then let your body go soft. And just float the right arm up towards the sky. Let it lower down alongside your body. And then inhale your left arm up. And exhale, let it lower alongside your body. Once there, we're just going to take another full breath. And now let's pull the right knee to our chest. Give it a good hug. We'll flex and point our right foot. Roll the ankle around. Let the foot rest where it is. And then we'll switch legs. In goes the left, out goes the right. Again, we just flex and point our foot. And then roll the ankle around, leading with your big toe. And then just let your foot rest. Let's bring the other knee back in. And while we've got both knees hugged in, I want you to flex your feet, spread your toes out really wide, scrunch them up tight, stretch them wide, scrunch them tight, stretch wide, and then scrunch tight. And then just let your feet relax. Let's do a few gentle rocks from side to side. Come back to neutral and circle your knees around and around, massaging our lower back. And then let's reverse. And then we'll just hug the knees in super close. Tighten your belly, press through the back of your ribs. Bring your shoulders, then your head off the mat. Think about tucking your nose between your knees, resting your chin on your chest. And then we can roll back down. Try again, tighten the belly, round up, nose to knees, chin to chest. And release. One, four, let's round up. And release. This time we're gonna round up and remain up and then place your hands in a little triangle shape. Rest them lightly on the back of your head. Separate your knees, heels together, toes apart. Inhale the legs straight up, exhale back in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, two to go. Inhale, one more. Inhale, exhale. Now this time we should push out. Big toes touch, heels apart. 
pull back in, heels together, toes apart. So we've got the arrow and the V. Arrow, V, arrow, V, arrow, two more, arrow, one more, arrow, and V. Bring your knees and feet together, scrunch up your toes, push through your arches, exhale back in, inhale, exhale, inhale. Three, two, and one. Completing our foot series, remain up in your C-shape, arms at your sides, off the mat, palms facing the sky. We're gonna start pumping firmly. Remember to use the entire arm from shoulders to fingertips. Inhaling for five beats and exhale for five beats. Modification level two, we bend our knees. Modification level one, we bend our feet on the mat. Our arm pumps are a good six to eight inches high. So we're using the entire arm to pump. One more round. Hold up. Let's tuck our knees in. Rest our head down and breathe. All right, very good. Now that we feel a little bit warmer, let's go right into roll ups. Knees bent, feet on the floor, legs pressed together. Arms behind us on the mat with our shoulders relaxed. Okay, feel the arms lift. Your shoulders drop back as we exhale. The belly scoops in to peel us off the floor. We inhale high and then we exhale and press back down. Again, inhale, arms up, drop your shoulders back, exhale, use your belly to pull up, stretch, inhale, exhale as we tuck and roll back down. Try again, inhale, arms come up, shoulders drop back, exhale, use your belly to pull up, stretch as far as you can, inhale, and then exhale as we tuck and roll back down. Couple more, inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back, exhale, really pull in with that belly to get you up. Inhale, exhale, pull in with that belly to press us back down. Now, if you're not using your legs, stretch them out straight. Keep them together. Inhale, arms up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, using the belly to pull you up. Big inhale. And then exhale as we tuck and roll back down. Again, inhale, arms up. Drop your shoulders back. Exhale, using your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can go. Inhale again. And then exhale as we tuck and roll down. Let's try one more. Inhale, arms up. Down, roll the shoulders. Exhale, using your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale. And then exhale as we tuck and roll back down. Once we're down, we're just going to stretch out. Press through the heels of your feet. Let's lift the arms up and return them to our sides. From there, we're going to bring the knees into the chest, tighten the belly, press through the back of your ribs, come on up into your C-shape. Arms at your sides, foot off the mat, palms facing up, fingertips on our shoulders. Inhale, arms and legs straight out. Open, close, just legs. Exhale, tuck, and then bend the elbows. Inhale, push straight. Open, close, tuck the knees, bend the elbows. Inhale, push. Open, close, it's a tuck and a bend. Inhale, push, open, close. Here's our tuck and bend. Inhale, push, open, close. Tuck, and let's do two more. Inhale, push, open, close. Tuck, we've got last one. Inhale, push, open, close. Tuck, and then bend. Tuck your knees in, send your head back down, and breathe. Moving into leg circles. Stretch your right leg super straight. You can keep your left knee bent, foot on the mat, or you can push your left leg out straight onto the mat. Right leg crosses, left circles out and up. Keep your circles contained to stay about the size of a large beach ball. Got one more in this direction and then go the other way. Out and around, in and up. And remember, we're always looking to cross the midline of the body and keep the outside edge of our circle you no know, wider than our hip. Here's our last two. One more circle and stay there. Bring your other leg up. Glue your legs tight together. Inhale, drop about halfway down. Exhale, sweep the legs around. You're back together. Inhale down. Exhale around. So on these, we're making sure 
that we're not using our lower back. So you know what to do. If halfway down is too far for you, you only go a quarter of the way down. Last two. Let's try one more. And then hold right there. Now we're gonna switch up. So let's keep the left leg straight. Right knee bent foot on the mat or push it out nice and straight. Left leg crosses, circles out and up. Stabilizing the pelvis, holding the belly tight. Last two, one more. And now go the other way out first and then in and up. Here's our last two, one more. And then just hold your leg up. Let's bring the other leg back up. So now the legs go out first, around and together, and then lift. Inhale out and around, exhale pull. Feel that belly working real hard here. Last two. Final one. And then we're there. All right? Both legs circle together around to the right and then back to the left. So this is our corkscrew, and we know our circles on these are smaller, so they're basketball sized. We're feeling the rest of our body press right into the mat. Here's our last set. And then our final circle. Holding nice and straight. Ooh, tuck your knees in and breathe. She little rocks from side to side. All right, from there, let's rest our feet down. And let's keep our feet apart about hips distance. And we want to keep about six or eight inches between our buttocks and our heels. So that way, when we go to lift up into our bridge, we're activating our hamstrings and our gluteals. We don't want to feel this in the top of our thighs or our knees. Toes are in slightly, palms facing open. Start tightening the belly and leave the mat one vertebra at a time. If press up and hold our bridge, then exhale equally as slowly, start melting back down. Try that again, tighten the belly and slowly come off the mat one second at a time. Pushing those hips up nice and high. And then exhale as we come back down. Try again, tightening the belly as we're slowly feeling up. Pushing our hips nice and high. And then exhale as we come back down. Again, tightening the belly as we slowly make our way off the mat. Holding on to that bridge. And then exhale as we come back down. And let's try once more, tightening the belly as we slowly make our way out. So now that we're sustaining our bridge, Let's pull the right knee and extend our right leg straight up and then lower and lift the straight leg. Flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up. Four and three and two and one. Hold it. Lift up a little more, a little more. And then bend your knee. Place that foot down and switch legs. Left leg extends, nice and straight to the sky. Lower and lift down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Four and three. How about two and one? Stay. A little more, a little higher. And then bend. Place that foot down. Keep pressing your hips up a little more. Let your arms rise towards the sky. 
and then slowly, one vertebra at a time, melt back in, she left. Once you've made it all the way back down, let's bring the knees in close to the body for that hug. A couple knee circles around and around, massages our lower back. And then go the other way. Good, and then let's keep the knees tucked in. Tighten the belly as you press through the back of your ribs, and we're back up into our C shape. Gonna keep the right hand stretched to left leg out. Let's place left hand to top right knee. Right hand goes to top the right ankle, elbows are open, and let's alternate. Stretching our legs across the room. Reach, 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 reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay. Switch, stay. Switch, stay. Switch, stay. Switch two more. Switch one more. Switch and stay. Now tuck both knees in. Rest your hands on your ankles, your shins, or the tops of your feet. As we inhale, start reaching up. As the arms and legs stretch, hold. Exhale, sweep the arms around, tuck your knees in. Inhale, stretch, exhale, pull. Right leg is drawing towards our face as our left leg is pulling away. And then we switch. So remember, this one is called straight single leg stretch. So right in the title, we've got the word straight and the word stretch. Not gang or pull, not bending of the knees. How about our last four? Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, both legs pressed together. Go ahead, rest your head down for a moment. Thumb and index finger triangle, everybody. Level one, we're gonna put the triangle under our butt. Level two, butt stays on the mat. Triangle goes under our head. Elbows nice and wide, tighten the belly, press through the back of your ribs, round yourself up into your seat shape. Inhale, drop slowly, one, two, three. Exhale, snap. Lower two, three. Exhale, snap. Inhale, lower two, three. Exhale, snap. Inhale, lower two, three. Exhale, snap. Inhale, lower. Whew, two to go. Inhale down. How about our last one? Inhale down. Exhale, hold it. Rest your head back down. Tuck your knees in. All right, last but not least in that series is our crisscross. So come on up into your C-shape. Let's keep the right knee pulled in. Stretch your left leg out nice and straight. Triangle for all those on the back of our head. Nice open elbows. We alternate. Knee to chest and toes to wall. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay. Lift a little higher. Bring your opposite arm in across towards your knee, and then we switch. Lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist. Now, as you're doing this, I want you to really pay attention to your hips. Make sure that they're not rocking from side to side. We're using the waistline to lift up and twist. Lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist, lift, twist. How about our eight and six? Here's four, three, two, hold it. Switch, hold, switch one more, switch, hold, pull your knees in, down, push your head, ah, breathe. All right, rest your feet down, knees are bent, arms go wide, knees fall to the right and look left. Bring the knees back up, let your knees fall left and look right. And then let's bring the knees back up. And I now want you to just let your knees fall open while the soles of your feet are resting together. Let's use our hands to press gently on our inner thighs. Breathe. 
Good, then we'll bring the knees back together, pull it into your chest. And again, start to open the knees. Bring the soles of your feet together. Pull your heels closer to your body. There's our line butterfly. And let's just separate the knees, or the feet, still holding on to your feet. Knees remain bent. We're going to push flat feet towards the ceiling. Pull down with your hands on your feet. And meanwhile, relax your spine, your shoulders, your neck. And just enjoy that interaction that we're feeling between the pulling of our hands and the pushing of our feet. Now try to extend the legs out wider and straighter. And again, just let them go where they can. Now let's bring the legs closer together overhead. Think about pushing your heels up towards the sky. And then from there, let's bend our knees. We're going to tighten the belly and roll ourselves up. Once we've made it up, let's sit up nice and straight. Let it push out through the heels of our feet. Make a fist with our hands, press our knuckles together. Let your thumbs point toward the floor with your elbows wide. As we inhale, we're going to scoop the belly in. Exhale, extend the arms, and then open them wide as you fold forward. Hook your hands together, inhale, lift higher to the sky, and then exhale, come forward to your toes. Come back up, we'll try again. Knuckles together, thumbs are down. Inhale, scooping back, exhale, arms extend. Swan dive forward, hook your hands, inhale them higher up. Exhale, reach for your toes. Come back up again, knuckles together, thumbs are down. Inhale, scooping back, exhale, arms extend. Swan dive forward, hook together, inhale up higher. Exhale, stretch for your toes. Come back up, knuckles together, thumbs down. Inhale, scooping back. Exhale, arms extend. Swan dive coming forward, inhale lifting higher. Exhale to our toes. And come back up. We've got one more. Knuckles together. Thumbs are down. Inhale as we're scooping back. Exhale, arms extend. Swan dive forward. Hook your hands together. Inhale higher up. And then exhale to your toes. We'll come back up. And then I want you to bend your knees. And let's bring our thighs close to our body. We're going to relax our shoulders away from our ears. Find your balance on your tailbone. We're going to roll like a ball. So if you're rolling like a ball, I want you to make sure you've got those thighs pressed against your ribs. You're going to just let your nose drop between your knees and rest your chin on your chest, making sure there's no scrunching of your shoulders. Level two is the same, but you can bring your hands in front of your shins. So we're going to use just the belly to roll us back, and then just the belly to bring us back up. So when we roll like a ball, we're going to roll at our own pace. But we're going to stay really focused on pulling everything tightly in. Not scrunching our shoulders. Not tossing our head back. Not letting those thighs pull away from our body. Keeping our heels really close to our butt. And actually balancing once we're up. And then we're just going to hang out. From there, I want you to lift your head. And I want you to make sure that you're dropping your shoulders and lifting your heart. Hands can go under your thighs if they're not already there. And we're going to go right into teaser pose. So little by little, let's start to extend our legs. Go as far as you can without letting anything round or cave in. Once there, we can add the arms up. Good. I want you to take your time and slowly open. Like somebody has a big iron. And they're ironing you into the floor. Once they're all the way, if you're all the way down, cross your feet. Ah, that feels nice. Good. Now I want you to pull your right knee into your chest and use your left hand to grab hold of your right ankle. 
Draw the right heel across your body, aim it at your left hip bone. And think about opening that right knee out over your shoulder. Bring the knee back to neutral. Set that leg out and we'll switch. In goes the left. Starting out with our hug. Then using our right hand to grab hold of our left ankle. Draw that heel across the body. Open the left knee out. Breathe. And then come back to neutral. And then from there, bring both knees back in for another nice, well-deserved hug. From there, let's rest our feet back down on the mat. I'm going to stretch out one leg straight. And from there, I want you to roll onto your side and continue to roll until we end up on our belly. Reaching out through our fingers and our toes. Stretch a little bit longer with your right arm and your left leg and rise off the mat. Come back down and we'll switch a little bit longer with the left arm and the right leg reaching out. And rise from the mat. And lower back down. Arms and legs together reaching out. And rising from the mat. And float back down. Now we're going to slide the hands in closer to our shoulders. Tuck your elbows in close to your body. Press down to the tops of your feet. Press down to your hip bones. Think about lengthening your spine. And begin to lift your head and your heart away from the mat. As we're doing that, we're pressing down into those palms. We're letting the shoulders remain relaxed. And there's our cobra pose. Exhale, come back down with your elbows wide. Tuck your elbows in. Let's inhale again. Lengthening first. Crossing away from the mat. Exhale the elbows wide as we melt back down. Once more, tuck the elbows in. Inhale, lengthen. And rise from the mat. Now we're going to push all the way back. Tailbone to heels, forehead to mat. Separate your knees. Let your chest actually drop between your knees. Feel that stretch going all the way down the length of your tailbone. And then while you're continuing to stretch, I want you to rotate your palms so they're pointing more upright. Flip your palms back over. Scoop your belly in as you're rounding your spine. Come up for a nice cat. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, pal. Exhale as we round out the cat. Inhale again for cow. And exhale round the cat. And then just bring yourself back to a neutral place. Let's extend the right leg behind us, pushing out through right heel. Add your left arm forward, bringing you into spinal balance. Now bring the left hand down, set your right toes down, and then step your left foot back so we end up in plank. So in our plank, remember our hand position, fingers wide spread, hands rotated and slightly weight is pressing into our index fingers, and we're pressing through the back of our inner knees, holding the belly tight, but keeping the buttocks relaxed. Let's ease back down onto all fours. And then push back again into extended child's pose. Scoop the belly in, rounding back up for your cat. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. And then we're back to neutral. Now let's extend the left leg behind us and reach the right arm forward for spinal balance. Set the right hand down, set your left toes down. Step your right foot back, show me your plank. Pressing through the back of those inner knees, keeping that head up and that belly button tight. Breathe. 
Well, let's ease back down onto our knees. Separate the knees, big toes are touching, and ah, uh, right back into extended child's pose. From there, we're ready to tuck our toes under and send that tailbone right up to the sky. Let your head drop through extended arms. Feel your rib cage pulling closer to your thighs. Feel the back, bottom edge of your shoulder blades pulling toward your gluteals. Let's nod our head yes a couple times. Let your head shake hill. And then just let your head dangle there. Going to walk the dog a few times. Nice stretch for the bottoms of our feet, up into our calves and our hamstrings. Let's pick up those heels together and drop them back down. Good. From there, we're going to take a giant step forward with our right foot. Once our foot is in place, we've got our knee over our ankle, our eyes are looking out. We're on the ball of our left foot. And I want you to feel the weight pressing into your right big toe, second toe. Now keep your left hand pressed into the mat. Inhale your right arm out to the side, and then as we exhale, let's revolve at the waist. And that brings us into a twisting lunge. Let's exhale that hand down. Then go ahead and push your left heel into the mat. Turn your left toes out about 45 degrees. Align your right heel with the back of your left heel and begin to lift upper body. So we want that right knee stationed over our ankle. We want our hip bones facing forward. Shoulders stacked over the hips, edge of arms. 21. Arms go wide. Begin to hinge forward. That brings us into warrior airplane. Let your hands return to the mat. Start to straighten your right leg and extend your left leg behind you. Push through the heel and work at keeping your leg about hip level. Hands form a tripod with our right foot. Where is your weight in your right foot? Pressing into that right big toe, second toe. Stay like this or align your right thumb with your right pinky toe. Start to roll your left hip open and then add that left arm and that brings you into your hip moon balance. On the exhale, let's bring the left hand back down if it's lifted. Try and step back with our left foot, bringing us back into lunge. And then from there, we're ready to walk ourselves around into a nice straddle, facing the wide edge of our mat. Toes are either straight ahead or you're turning them in slightly. Inhale for that look out, flat back. Exhale for melting, elbows bending, forearms sinking, head is dropping. Ah, we completely relax the upper body. Breathing into our inner thighs, our hamstrings. Let's go ahead and press down into our palms, arms go straight. And then we're going to lift and lower each heel individually. So just rise up, push down into those big toe knuckles. And then let both heels sink back down. Inhale with our flat back looking out. Exhale, the arms open wide for airplane. Inhale as we begin to rise. Once we're all the way up, we've got our palms facing the sky. Our feet are a little wider than our hips. Our toes are in, our heels are out. High pointed star. Good, now let your palms rotate to face forward. Let's bring the hands closer together. Palms meet, fingers lace. Index fingers press together. 
Bending the elbows, let the elbows and the forearms meet. Try to keep lifting those elbows so they remain shoulder level. As we inhale, start extending towards the sky. Let the upper arms create a soft frame around your head. Not feeling any tension in our neck. We're gonna get longer and longer out of the waist and then we're gonna do a little bit of a back bend. And let's come back up to neutral. Let's reopen our arms so we're back in our start. Now we're ready to turn our right toes to the front end of our mat again. Align our right heel with our left arch this time and keep the front of your body facing the side of your mat. When ready, bend your right knee. Bring it out over your ankle. Push into your right big toe, second toe. Warrior two. Now let the left arm lower towards your hip. It's gonna make a nice circle. On the way up, right hand rises, left hand lowers, right thumb to the sky. Reverse warrior. Pull the right leg straight without locking. Stretch a little bit more. Reverse triangle. Bring the arms back to shoulder level, right where we started. Now start to pull your left hip to the left and stretch your right arm out as far as we can go. Once we can't go any farther, let's lower the right and lift the left. And I want those left fingers reaching right up to the sky, directly above your shoulder. Crossing our left hip a tiny bit forward, pulling the left shoulder a tiny bit back so that our body stays in a straight line. And where is our right hand? It's anywhere we need it to be to allow our body to remain open and flat. Not feeling any tension in our neck or our shoulders at all. Let's take one more inhale. On the exhale, let's start revolving the upper body. Rebending that right knee, returning to the ball of our left foot, stepping our right foot back, holding on to our good, strong plank. Modify to your knees. Start to lower upper body with your elbows open. Lower your chest, lower your hips, tuck your elbows in. Press through the hip bones, pull out through the top of your head. Rise into cobra. Exhale all the way back. Extend in child's pose. Where you tuck the toes and come back up. Downward facing dog. Again, walking our dog. Feeling the placement of your weight in your hands, in that big index finger knuckle. Lifting up our heels and dropping them back down. Giant step forward with our left foot this time. Ensuring that we've got our knee over our ankle. Weight pressing into our left big toe, second toe, eyes looking out. Remaining on the ball of our foot. Breathe. Let's exhale that hand back down. Once there, start to push your weight forward onto your left foot, straighten your left leg. Extend the right leg behind your hip level. Push out through the right heel, and just position your hands so they form a tripod. So remember that your balance is coming from the center of your body, so really think about engaging those abdominals. We can stay in tripod or position our left thumb so it's aligned with our left pinky toe. Begin to open your right hip. Extend your right arm towards the sky. Exhale, 
Exhale the right hand down if it's lifted. Take a giant step back with that right foot, bringing us back into our lunge. Push your right heel to the mat, turn your right toes out. Align your left heel with the back of your right heel. Left knees over ankle as we're lifting up, feeling our weight pressing into left big toe, second toe, squaring those hips to the front end of our mat, adding the arms. Warrior one. Good, now we'll open the arms wide. Let's pull that leg straight. And free ball to the upper body. Bringing us into our five pointed start. Toes in, heels out. Palms open base to the sky. Let the arms lower behind us and we're gonna hook them together somehow. So it could be thumbs together, it could be second and third index fingers together, or we could clasp our hands. We're gonna draw the shoulder blades down the spine. Press your heart center forward. Pull your knuckles towards the mat. Tip your head back, open your throat. Inhale back to a neutral spine. Exhale, let's start to move forward. And lead with our ribs. We're gonna pull down as far as we can. Getting our knees is fine. And then we're gonna try to lift those hands higher to the sky. And then as we exhale, go ahead and release your hands. They can trickle right back down to the floor. And then once we're there, push down into your palms so your arms get straighter and straighter. Shift your weight off to your left. Feel that right inner thigh drawing towards the mat. Come back up and we'll switch. Pushing our weight over to the right. And then come back to that neutral center. Let's inhale, look out with our flat back. Exhale the arms wide, bringing us back into airplane. And then inhaling slowly upright. Palms open to the side. Feet a little wider than hips. Toes in, heels out. We're back into our star. Rotating our palms to face forward once again. Let your palms meet. Let all of your fingers lace. Good, now bend your elbows to your forearms and elbows once again meet. And then start extending your arms towards the sky. Once they're extended and they're playing your head, turn your palms towards the sky. Feel yourself getting taller and longer through the spine and the waist. Let's lean off to our left. Inhale back up and lean to our right. Inhale up again and lean up. Inhale lift and exhale to the right. Let's inhale lift again. And now let the arms open wide. Palms facing the sky, back into our star. From there, let's turn our left toes to face the front end of our mat. Align our left heel with our right arch, keeping the front of our body facing that wide edge of our mat, bending our left knee. Finding its place over your ankle, looking out past your left hand. Feel your weight pressing into your left big toe, second toe. Now let the right arm lower towards your hip. It's gonna make a nice full circle. Now start to lift the left as you lower your right, turning your left palm towards the sky. There's our reverse warrior. From 
From there, we're going to pull our left leg straight without blocking. I'm going to stretch even more into reverse triangle. And then from there, come back up into our beginning position. Now, start to pull your right hip to the right. Extend your left arm out as far as it can reach. Once it can't go any further, that's when we lower it. And we're going to really reach those right fingers towards the sky, making sure they're directly over the shoulder. Feel as though you're pressing your right hip a little bit forward, keeping that right shoulder a little bit back so it's not rounding. And again, our left hand is anywhere that it needs to be that allows our body to remain open and straight. And we've got nice release in our shoulders and our neck. Enjoying all that space that we've created in the body. One more inhale as we are. On the exhale, let's start to revolve the upper body. Go ahead and bend your left knee. Returning to our lunge, so we end up on the ball of our right foot. Let's step the left foot back, holding on to that very strong, powerful plank, modifying to our knees. Lowering down with the elbows wide. Bring the chest down, bring the hips down. Tuck the elbows in. Inhale, lengthen as you rise into cobra. Push all the way back. Extend a child's pose. Re-tuck the toes and come back up. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward again into plank. Let's position that right hand, right wrist under right shoulder and open to the side for side plank. Modification, you can set the side of your right knee on the mat. While we're here, step the left foot across. Let's exhale back around into our plank, and we'll switch. So now it's left shoulder over left wrist, sending the arm towards the sky, modification, side of our left knee helps support us. Let's set the right foot forward. Now here's our change. I want you to just bring the right hand down. We're going to bend the left knee. And I want you to sit on your left hip. Once you're seated on your left hip, let's step that right foot across to that left knee. So we've got like little pretzel legs. All right, and then from there, we're going to take the left arm and wrap it around with that right knee. Sit up nice and tall to start. And then as you exhale, start turning to look over your right shoulder. See if you can wrap your right hand around so the back of your right hand is actually on the outside of your left hip. And then let's untwist. And let's take our right upper arm and press it against our right inner thigh. Walk your left hand a little farther behind you, closer to your tailbone. Again, sit up really tall. And now look over your left shoulder. Let's inhale, extend the arm towards the sky. Exhale, let that arm float down. And then we can uncross our legs. And let's first bring the soles of our feet together. 
Pull your heels in a little closer to your body. Moving back into our butterfly, let your hands cradle the edges of your feet and pull your knees wider. As we exhale, let's soften a bit. And we're gonna change sides. So now we're gonna sit on our right hip. And we're gonna take that left foot and it's crossed over the right thigh. And then we're gonna take the right arm and start by just hugging the left leg into the body. Inhale, sitting taller and straighter. And then exhale, start to look over your left shoulder. See if you can pass the back of your left hand around so it comes to the outside of your right hip. As we exhale, let's start to untwist. And then we're going to take the upper portion of our left arm and just press it against left inner thigh. Walk your right hand a little further behind you so it's kind of tucked right into your tailbone. Inhale, sit taller and straighter. And as we exhale, rotating to look over that right shoulder. And then from there, let's inhale, extend that left arm skyward. Exhale, let it float open. And once that's done, we can uncross the legs. And let's go into our seated wide angle pose. So we're just gonna sit with our legs nice and wide, wherever our body allows us to go. I want you to push out through the heels of your feet. And then your hands are placed in front of you. We're just gonna start walking our hands forward. We're gonna inch them forward and we're thinking about leading with our belly button. So do not let your back round or your shoulders round. And when you get to the place where you can't go any further, you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna breathe into those tight spots and see if you can't feel a little bit more release. our shoulders, lifting our heart, keeping our head held high, tightening our belly, finding our balance on our tailbone, steadying our legs, going where we can without rounding our spine, adding the arms high, starting to open everything slowly. And once we're down, pushing out through the heels of our feet, reaching out through those fingertips. And then go ahead and feel your body get soft. Let's pull the right knee into our chest. Extend the right leg straight up to the sky. Walk your hands up as high as they'll reach. Aim for your ankle. Think about pulling your toes over your head. Ease up a bit, bend your right knee, rest your right foot on the floor. Open your arms wide to the side. Now from there, I want you to start to slowly bring your hips off the mat. And then lift your left leg straight up to the sky.
Let's rebound the left knee, place your foot down. And slowly sink back down onto the mat. And then once you're back down, we'll slide the right leg out and draw the left knee to your chest. Extend your left leg towards the sky. Walk your hands up as high as they'll go. Think about pulling the toes overhead. And then we can release and let's bend the left knee. Rest your foot back on the mat. Open those arms wide to the side. And then start to slowly draw the pelvis off the mat. Send your right leg towards the sky. And then we can read down the right knee. Feel your hips press a little bit higher. Bring your hands together under your body. Let them clasp together. Walk your shoulder blades a little bit closer together. Then think about pressing your knuckles into the mat. Let's release our hands and then slowly melt back down. And once we feel that our spine is oh so soft on the mat, We'll pull the knees in, do a couple more nice gentle knee circles. And then we'll reverse. And then go ahead and rest your feet back down. And let's extend the legs out. So they're just going to find a place on the mat where you can feel your body let go. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms to the sky. And just feel yourself floating above the surface of the mat. We feel so much lighter now that we've let go of all that stress that we hold tight in the body. We can actually feel the air passing through our cells. Don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. 
When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victims of needless suffering. Let's set aside all of our anxious thoughts, making a choice to live today with courage and with an open heart and a grateful heart and a heart full of hope. Make random acts of kindness a part of who you are. Know that my soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. Namaste.